curly hair if the title was obvious enough. This is my original series called Curly Chat, and this is episode number five. Sorry if the water is loud and annoying. What I did is that I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram about curly hair and all of this, so I'm just going to be answering those right now. Probably not safe to use my phone in the shower, but I do it all the time, so. So just to put a little twist, I'm going to be washing my hair while answering questions. <laughs> How do you stop your hair from being overly poopy? One thing that I'm doing right now is that I'm using a co-wash, which is like shampoo, except without the suds and all of the chemicals. So the one that I'm using is by Diva Curl. Looks like conditioner and doesn't have soap, but it feels really minty, so I don't really mind it. When I had you to myself. What I do is that the parts of my finger that are not as curly, I would just finger coil them, and you guys will see that in my curly hair routine very soon. And I also use products that don't contain any alcohol, and I say that in every curly hair video. You're probably tired of hearing me say it, but it's really true. Are you? No, don't get on Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I also avoid our brushes which make your hair very poofy and I also avoid combs. I only use my fingers. It's probably gross to most people, so if you want to use a comb, go ahead. I just use my fingers because it's much more gentle on the hair. It's really dirty and it's so bad, so I'm just trying to get all of that out. What's your nationality? I am Gunny Chinese Indian and Black. Who is your curly hair crush? My curly hair crush is Sunfish Alba. Shameless Maya, because Shameless Maya just has that short curly hair and it looks really good on her. Alba has that long curly hair and it also looks very good. And I also have this one curly crush. I don't know her name, it's not her picture, right? Here. Hair goals for 2016. I definitely want to have blondes in my hair. Like, I want dark roots and blonde hair. I feel like I would look okay. I just really want to try it out. Would you get box braids? I can't picture it on myself, but I really adore them. This girl named Zoli had them, and they look really nice on her. So maybe, maybe in the long, long future. If you could choose a different texture of your hair, what would it be? I'm just going to apply some conditioner now. Um, if I could have a different hair texture, I would definitely want a little bit of an afro type. I'm not really sure how to say that, um, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Just a little bit thicker. I just really adore how it looks. Like those extremely tight curls. I really like the extremely tight curls look. I'm just going to be putting conditioner on the right side of my head right now. Really hair straight hair. Which do you prefer? I get this question a lot. And if I prefer straight hair, I would straighten it all the time. And I used to prefer straight hair. Now I love curly hair. And I just think it fits me better than straight hair. And I just love having volume. And I never know how to deal with straight hair when I do have it. So I really adore curly hair. Best drugstore shampoo and conditioner. Oh, the line that I used to use was organic. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I'll put a picture right here. Next to my bun, right there. I used to use the, it's like the argan oil one, and then they had like the coconut one. And I think it's like six dollars. Also, Shea Moisture is drugstore also. Shea Moisture is what I started off my hair journey with, so definitely Shea Moisture. I apologize to my dad for wasting the water. Are you going to keep your hair short or grow it out again? I'm definitely loving the short hair right now. I think it fits me really well. Feels better and healthier. I'll probably keep it short for now, but if it does grow out and it does feel healthier, then I'll leave it long, but I love the short hair right now. It's so much fun. How often should we wash curly hair? I definitely say you should wash it maybe once so I put so much conditioner on the side. Time to switch. I definitely think you should wash curly hair maybe once a week. I used to wash my hair like almost every two days. I realized that that wasn't good because you need to let like the natural oils sit in your hair and nourish it. And that's also what causes growth. So I think once a week. Have you tried Diva Curl? Diva Curl the line that I started with when I started my hair journey and I love it so much. And for like about two years I avoided their products just because they're extremely expensive. But right now, I'm using Diva Curl because I purchased this bundle that came with the shampoo and the conditioner, the full size one, and then like styling gel, some um, other styling products. It was 80 bucks. I kid you not, Diva Curl is the only thing that works in my hair, so I'm gonna keep on repurchasing it, and I, I, I love it. I've been using it for two years. Do you do hot oil treatments? I don't, but I think about it all the time, but then I forget, and I really wanna try them because they sound like they really nourish your hair. But if I were to do one, I would probably just take some coconut oil and heat it up. Have you noticed any significant changes in your hair since the cut? Much more bouncy, it's much more volumized. When my hair was longer, it was weighing down my curls, and it was just stretching them too much. And ever since I cut them, they are much more curly, and I love it so, so much. It just feels healthier and less dry now since I cut off all the damage or whatever it was that I had. Did not forget those bags though. Depending on how long 
I want to be in the shower, I would just leave my hair sit like this and then I'll wash it out in maybe like five minutes. Whoa, my top is falling a lot. Sorry if I almost flashed you there. If you were on an island and only could bring three products, what would they be? My Diva Girl 1 Condition, my makeshift sleeping conditioner, and my Shea Moisture Edge. How often do you trim your ends? P.S. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. And I trim my ends probably every two months or every six months. It really depends on how my hair is feeling. Should I start using mixed chicks on my hair? Mixed chicks is basically for mixed chicks. Like if your hair is curly, it'll work for you. I think I'm going to answer about three more questions. Any hair dye brands that you would recommend for your curly hair? So when I first dyed my hair, I used Cream of Nature and it didn't cause my hair to be damaged or dry or anything. And I think I used like three boxes to be honest. I kind of made a mistake and dyed my roots to light. I used the Shea Moisture dye to just dye my roots and my hair was not damaged or dry or anything like that. So I really recommend Shea Moisture and Cream of Nature. Now I'm just gonna be rinsing out my hair with some cold water. Favorite hairstyle. I made a whole back to school hairstyle video on curly hair, so that will be in the down below. And those are definitely ones I do all the time. Oh, I just put it in a ponytail. I put it in like a bun and just leave my bangs out. I'll do a whole short hair, curly hairstyle video soon. The last question I'm going to answer is tips for curls up. Try to find a product that really finds your curls. And I know that's hard, but you just have to keep on trying until you find your staple product. You just have to like know your curl pattern too, so I am like kind of tight but loose at the same time. What helped me a lot throughout my curly hair journey is going on naturallycurly.com, link in the down bar. It's a website where there's like everything about curly hair, dyeing curly hair, cutting curly hair, um, DIY masks for curly hair. It's really, really good. But what I do to define my curls is that I twist them now. The ones that are like not so curly, I just twist them. And yeah, I'm trying to expand my channel more and do things that you guys would like to see. I also forgot to mention that if you did not get a chance to be in this video, make sure you follow my Instagram or post about when I'm asking you guys to ask me questions for Q&As and stuff. It'll be in the down bar as well as my Twitter and all my social media. So that was it for this week's video and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.